This week we're spending some time with our Mellon Creek family. It's hot in Texas. We're going to Colorado to shoot some prairie dogs. What the hell are you doing? Jackson! Right here close, Steph. You know, it's amazing what these little prairie dogs can do to the property. Let's go. Hagen's even got a surprise up his sleeve. He actually has it in his pocket. Now, it says something. What does it say? He's right there. Can you see him? Time to get up, time to get up now. Our lives move pretty fast, but it's only in the moment of the hunt that life slows down. It's not a matter of what we do, but how we do it. With passion, drive, and the challenge to accept nothing but our best. We are the wildlifers. It's summertime, I'm building a new boat, we can't go fishing, so Steph and I are sitting around and we're talking, you know, what are we gonna do this summer? I said, you know, one time Shelby and I, a long time ago, we went prairie dog hunting, that was kind of fun. My name is Hugh Fidel, and we're at the LK Ranch in Meeker, Colorado. Klingel Smith Seniors met 50 years ago, and they've been ranching on this particular piece of land for over 25 years. This is gonna be a super week. We get to go to Colorado, and the weather is terrible in Texas, so what better time? It's only 140 degrees at night. This is gonna be a really fun week. We all get to have fun, joke, cut up. It's a really fun time to get with a bunch of people and do some shooting. This was our um, first family hunting trip off of the ranch. I was very excited to get to go on the hunt with uh, our son, Miles. I was really, really excited to go out of town and kill some prairie dogs. I'm really excited to go on this trip. Dan, I even offered to let my girlfriend Hannah go on the trip with us. It's gonna be a blast. I'm pretty excited to go on this trip, but after going with Hagen to pick up all the ammo, I had no idea what we were getting ourselves into. You know, it's amazing what these little prairie dogs can do to the property. Their little tunnels, they take off and they create big holes. And ranchers, when they drive across these fields, they hit holes, they break axles. They would take an alfalfa field and just decimate it. It would look like a moonscape. Ground squirrels can cause a lot of damage. It's not just fun to shoot them. You're actually doing the landowners some good. get out there and they have this trailer that they park and get it all leveled off. Everybody gets on the bench with a case of bullets, three or four guns, and you just start shooting. Got him. Well, they're, they're popping up big time now. Carnage is gonna be bad out here, I think. I think so. They'll start crawling up here in a few minutes. We're excited about having Dan and Stephanie come out and do this with us. Uh, we've tried different rodenticides to control these things and their numbers, and we just decided that incorporating the hunting aspect could help us tremendously with the numbers. Did I get him? Yes, you did. Very nice shot. Who's gonna do the best? Well, everybody knows who's gonna do the best. I mean, come on, I'm gonna do the best. Boy, I am just raising nine tons of hell on these things. All right, I'm gonna shoot this one. We're all having fun, we're all friends, we're, we're giggling, we're having a little competition. That was so fun. We're getting a lot of target practice. There is a lot of these little guys running around. My first thought was, wow, these boogers are a lot smaller than I thought they were gonna be. Miles, he's been itching his finger all the way up here. He can't wait to get on a prairie dog. Miles is gonna shoot a couple of us. We better hide. I want this one. That's the one you want? He's right there. Can you see him? He's ready. He's aiming. He's ready to get him a prairie dog. See him? I was super excited to watch my son shoot his first prairie dog. It was a very special moment. 
he was so excited. He wanted to run out there. He was grinning from ear to ear. Not only are you shooting prairie dogs, but you're shooting them in the head? Uh-huh. Were you aiming for his head? It was a special moment for the whole family. There you go. That gun blows them up. While everyone's having a blast shooting these pests, five miles to the east, Stephanie is working on eradicating another kind of pest. When I found out I was going to get to do some coyote hunting on this trip, well, that was a huge success for me. If they have coyotes, Stephanie is going to go coyote hunting at least one time. We've got two of the best coyote hunters in the county. They've got two catch dogs, and they're going to take Stephanie up on our mountain in our high country and try to call in coyotes. The catch dogs will go out there and lure them right to her, and the way she shoots, I have no doubt she's going to knock them down. The best thing about hunting with decoy dogs is the interaction that you get between the dogs and the coyotes. So we're on our first stand and the coyote's coming in and I am like, yes, this is it. All right, good girl, Pep. Our dogs are kind of decoys slash you know, intruders, basically. They just know that, you know, it's a territorial thing. I got to hunt some coyotes this morning. This afternoon, I'm gonna head back out with their group and we're gonna hunt some ground squirrels. Now we just arrived at some freshly cut alfalfa here. So we got some, some wind rows and some lanes with squirrels moving across those back and forth. So this is, uh, Brand new territory, hasn't been hunted yet. I never hunted ground squirrels before, but I knew this had to be a lot of fun. Anytime that there is bullets to be shot and animals to be killed, Stephanie's gonna enjoy it. I am really looking forward to it. Oh my gosh, I love this gun. Best day for him, sucker. Oh, you little booger. The big fat one. <laughs> She's still flying. Now we've had a hunt under our belt. We know what's going on. We know what to expect. Wow. Oh, I see him flopping, Steph. I'm feeling really good, feeling very confident in my gun and in myself. Who knew it was going to be so much fun to shoot these little critters? Miles, he's been hitting them pretty good. It's going to be a lot more fun this afternoon. How many ground squirrels did you kill? At least one. At least one. <laughs> First day, I missed a lot. And the second day, I was kind of pounding them. The damage that they cause is absolutely unbelievable. When you start multiplying how many thousands of them they are, they can really tear up a field. Elk break their legs stepping in the holes. They'll tear up five acres of hillside out in the pasture lands. It's crazy, the holes they make. I don't know how the tractor driver does it. You know he has to just be like this all day long. I mean, I knew they tore things up, but I had no idea it was to that extent. Man, we're just having so much fun. It's, it's a good time to hang out with everyone and sharpen up our shooting skills. Right here, lit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. Hagen's having a lot of fun, but he seems like something's up his sleeve. Just went down, running. Go. Hung these prairie dogs, and it never gets old. It's a blast. I could do this forever. I didn't hit him? No. Wow. Over. Really? But I'm pretty eager to get back to the lodge. I've got a big plan for this evening. Getting back to the lodge and we've got everything in place and it's all coming together. Now I just need the help of the camera guys. When we got back to the lodge for lunch, the producer said, let's do some extra footage just glassing up on the mountain. So I didn't think anything of it. I mean, we do that all the time. Yeah, it says something. What does it say? Well, when I looked through my spotting scope, I couldn't believe what I saw.
I see a prairie dog. Does that count for anything? Really? I want to see. So I had this idea that it'd be pretty clever if we put a fake prairie dog up on the hill. I saw that it said a jeweler's name. It took me a while, and I looked back at Hagen. He was down on one knee. Oh, sure hoping she'd say yes. Is this for real? It was really fun being a part of Hannah and Hagen's engagement. I mean, just seeing the love and the excitement in their eyes, it was just a really big deal. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so sweet. We love Hagen and Hannah. They're like part of our family. Hagen decided Meeker, Colorado is going to be an excellent place to ruin my life. And against all of us that know better, he went ahead and did it. She told me this morning that prairie dogs wouldn't make her cry. Hey, come on. She lied. I know it. Once all the lovey-dovey stuff cleared out, then the smack talk started, and we decided we had to have a competition. It's gonna be a good morning. We're gonna do this in couples. Me and Stephanie, Dustin and Lacey, Hagen and I roll are the teams. But before the competition starts, the guys have to figure out who's up first. This could take a while. Where well, we have to hit the black dot? Who gets closest to the black dot? Okay, that's gonna be hard to beat. I probably won't even hit the board. I can't shoot it any better anyway. I got closer to dead, he got a sight. <laughs> He was bragging about his sight. Uh, I got closer than he did. Really? Away. We're dead last? I was farthest away from the target. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ready on the first shot back there? The Richardson Squirrel Olympics. <laughs> I'm at first, and I feel like that's a pretty good advantage, so I'm ready to go. Oh, there's a bunch of them in the middle. Not doing very good. Yeah, oh, that oh. one. Huh. OK, left track, all the way left on the fence line. Got him. You know, Hannah shoots really, really well, and I think I got a pretty good partner in this. I'm not very worried. I, I think we got it. Yeah! <laughs> Five seconds. I think I can hold my own ground. I think we've got this competition in the bag. Time, it's over. You're over. What you, you got? Five. 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 Good job. No, it's mommy's turn. I was pretty confident that we would do well. You know, Lacey, she's got an AR with a 20 round clip and she's been pounding them. There's some sitting in the grass. There's a head right there. You gotta look through your scope, they're everywhere. I don't see any. Don't turn my scope uh, down. You're not shooting. Well, I can't. There's one right here by the fence. I don't know what happened, but she froze up. The scope on my gun got messed up. She got slow. I'm gonna get make sure I make a good first shot. <laughs> You ain't got but five minutes. Dustin was like screaming at me like, you can't see those. There's one right there, dude. I mean like. I think she may have shot at four of them. But my, some, my gun. Oh, uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's hit. He's messed up bad. He ain't even running no more. You got an AR, start shooting that sucker. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? You told me to just shoot. Come here. I still love you, but wow. I really, really sucked it up. And I was hoping that Dustin could make up the difference. I've got a lot of catching up to do. Destroyed my opportunity. Like everybody get in your hole. Golly. <laughs> the competitive juices are flowing. All right, five minutes begins now. Hit him right there. Over him. Over him. And the tall guy, see him right here? Right here, right here. Over. over that one, too. Three minutes. I shot over everything. Unbelievable. Came a little under. Well, oh, yeah, he's yeah, dead. yeah, he's dead. Right here, close, Steph. Right here. Five, he's right there. He's got his four, ears and his head up. Three, two. You got that one. one. Nine. Nine. Stephanie did really good on the prairie dog hunt shooting. I, I thought that she might have some trouble because those things are tiny, especially when they get way out there. And she shot some of them at three or 400 yards and just completely. Well, after I finished my turn of shooting the prairie dogs, Dustin looked through my scope and he was like, no wonder you couldn't see the prairie dogs, your scope is off. I couldn't hit them either because the goddamn gun was shooting four inches to the right, which Dan did. It's been a heck of a time so far ridding Meeker, Colorado of pesky prairie dogs. We've seen what the ladies can dish out. Now it's the guy's turn to show us what they can do. We're gonna have a little competition today too. This shooting competition, Dan and Dustin are gonna be hiding behind the truck when this is over with. How about me and you? On a team? Yeah. In a head. 
And Hagen is. He wants Hagen because Hagen shoots pretty good. He wants Hagen on our team. The problem is Hagen hey, shoots pretty good. He's going to get all these easy ones going. You and Mary are going to have to shoot them out there. I was a little nervous going into the competition originally, but I mean, after Hannah got done with her turn, I knew we had a pretty good lead. Another one right over there by that plop. Hannah, go do something else. Got him. All the shots plopped over. Oh, I missed that one. <laughs> Got that one. Got that one. Blew him into some pieces. Three minutes. Over. Over. Boy, not by much. Yo, Hagen, he's he's pounding them. It's gonna be tough to catch up. He's hitting a lot of them. He ain't, you ain't scared of him either. It. He's a tough man. He's like sticking his tongue out. You gotta get him. Got, got him. Dude, he's, he flew like 40 yards in yeah, over that the was fence. Crazy. Hagen probably is the best shooter in the whole group. You know, just over me. Oh! Got him. Got him. You got 15. Did he get 15 on him? He was thumping him pretty good. You got 15. Yeah. That's pretty good. There's about three people in this world that I don't want ever shooting at me and Hagen's at the top of that list. He did great. We got a big lead on him. It's going to take a miracle for them to catch up to us now. I've been pounding these things. I am not scared at all. We're going to win this competition. There's one right there. Ready on the time? Uh, still there. Yep. Keep doing that. Hurry up. There's like four of them. Yep. Got him. Hurry up. He's standing up. Got him. Yep. There's one standing up by the fence. Shoot him. I'm going to like go stomp on this one right here. Will that count? I'm missing left and right. I mean, I'm missing every one of them that I'm shooting at. He's running right now. Left. To the left, and I yes, aim to the right of him, oh. too. Finally, I decide, OK, the wind's pushing my bullet. When I aim to the right of him, you know, I finally hit a couple of them. Standing up. Yep. Got him. Dude, I aimed like four inches to the left right there. That coming to the right. right now. Well, after it, I put me a box out there, and my gun was shooting about four inches to the left. He is famous for cranking a scope. I know he did it. Oh, my God. Good job, honey. Looks like y'all have got seven. Dan still hasn't confessed to it, but my gun was in his truck. If you're shooting four inches to the left at a water bottle, you don't hit the water bottle. And that's about the size of these things. So I didn't hit very many of them. So I don't know if we were just making excuses because we sucked or there was really some things with our guns that were off. But we had a good time. So this is getting fun. They're, they're in full competition mode. It's really funny watching them give each other a hard time. Well, I think Dan's going to win the contest. He wins everything he does. Yeah. It's hard to hold it with his wind. Yeah. Got it. Still there? There he is. Got him. You see him standing up? Got him. Got him. Got him. Right down here. Oh, yeah, get him. Oh, one more. Got him. Oh, look, he's standing up. Shoot him anyway. I don't think we have a chance at all. We dropped too many in the first round, and there's no coming back because our opponents are too strong. We don't have to count it, but look at him. Yes. <laughs> yes. There's no more shooting. Hagen and Hannah won first. Stephanie and I won second. Dustin and Lacey won third. They think I cheated on the scorecard, but I really didn't. He was shooting at them over on the horizon. And then Lacey <laughs> wasn't shooting at all. She had an AR-15 <laughs> with a full clip. Shot she, three shot, shots. she shot four shots. I couldn't uh, see it. Didn't work out real we well. We had a good time. And we had and a good time. place, Dan. I'm last place. Yes, you are. <laughs> I think the prairie dog hunt was a complete success. I mean, the ranch up there is absolutely beautiful. It couldn't have been a better week. I mean, this was awesome. I got to bring my family along. Miles had a blast. Hugh Fidal and his wife were just great people. We know a lot of the same people, but we never met each other. The weather was amazing. The scenery was amazing. It was really just a vacation of a lifetime, if you ask me. We got to help the farmers and the ranchers out. This is a great, great hunt for a family. Dan and Stephanie and Hagen and Hannah, they're, they're like our family. Getting engaged was, was very exciting to me. The country was beautiful. I couldn't have picked a prettier place. We ran out of bullets and had to go to town and buy more and then ran out of those. It was everything we could have imagined. Hagen proposed and we've been together for almost six years now, so 
It was about time. I'm pretty excited. I highly, highly recommend them to anyone that wants to hunt elk, mule deer, or the prairie dogs. I'd give it six stars out of five. It was absolutely a great time, and it was good to get out of Texas and not be hot for a few days. I had a lot of fun hunting with my mommy and daddy. It was a really, really fun trip. For all your wildlife or social media needs, make sure to follow them on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.